Hi, welcome to Travelzilla. Make sure to follow me on social media. Previously on Travelzilla, we've introduced the amazing city of Istanbul. Made some cat friends on the Asian side of the city, where we smoked the shisha and had tea as locals do. We walked through the streets of Kadikoy, the cultural hub of the Asian side. Back in Europe, we've enjoyed the beautiful views of Asia and the Bosphorus Bridge. And we had a feast at our New Year's Eve dinner at the Siragan Palace, where we tried various traditional Ottoman dishes. Plus, I had gold on my chocolate cake, so what now? Let's go to Topkapi Palace, check out Muhammad's footprint and the infamous harem. visitar todos os pontos turísticos. É, o Galata. Olha que linda é essa. We're going now to Topkapi Palace. Pra onde a gente tá indo agora? Top Chic. <risos> Top Cap Palace. Top Chic. <risos> the entrance to Top Cap Palace is right next to the back of Hagia Sophia. To me, it's Istanbul's number one attraction because it includes some of the most impressive relics of the Muslim world, such as Muhammad's cloak and sword and the world-famous Turkish harem, which used to be an institution responsible to grant heirs to the Ottoman Empire's throne. The palace was one of the major residences to the sultans for almost 400 years. It consists of four main courtyards and many smaller buildings. At its peak, the palace was home to almost 4,000 people and included mosques, a hospital, a bakery, and a mint. Come with us, we're going to show you around. So now we're inside of Topkapi Palace. Lots of armed men here. Scary. The palace's construction began in 1459 ordered by Sultan Mehmed II, conqueror of Byzantine Constantinople. It received the name Topkapi, or Cannon Gate, after a long-lost pavilion that existed there at the time. After the 17th century, Topkapi Palace lost a lot of its importance, as the Sultans wanted to spend more and more time in their palaces along the Bosphorus. 
We spent New Year's Eve in one of them, the Siragan, and soon we'll take you through the largest of them, the Domabachi Palace. Top Kapi became a museum in 1923 after the fall of the Ottoman Empire. The museum contains fine pieces of art from the Ottoman Empire including collections of porcelain, robes, weapons, shields, armor, Islamic calligraphy, manuscripts and displays of Ottoman treasures and jewelry. The Imperial Harem occupied a section of the Sultan's private apartments. It was added to the palace at the end of the 16th century. The Harem was an imperial institution ran by the Sultan's mother, opposed to a sexual place where naked girls spent all day every day sexually indulging themselves and the Sultan. The Harem had 400 rooms and a very strict hierarchy. The Sultan's mother was the head of the Harem, therefore the most powerful woman in the empire. Thousands of people lived in it, including the Sultan's mother, his wives and children, his concubines and favorites. The harem was protected by an army of black African eunuchs. It wasn't so much about sex, it was more about politics, competition and securing heirs to the throne of the Ottoman Empire. The audience chamber, also known as audience hall or chamber of petitions, is a place where the sultans used to receive foreign ambassadors, and the venue where they handed in the sacred banner to the commanders of forces going on military campaigns outside the empire. The chamber houses a number of sacred relics, such as a piece of hair from Muhammad's beard, a piece of one of Muhammad's teeth, the seal of Muhammad, and other precious items like an autographed letter of Prophet Muhammad himself. The museum collection is quite vast, but some of the most impressive pieces included in the imperial treasury are the Spoonmaker's Diamond, an 86 carat diamond considered to be one of the largest of its kind in the world, as well as the Top Capi Dagger, and many other incredible pieces of jewelry and armory. But even more impressive are the religious relics present in the museum, which include Muhammad's footprint, Moses' staff, the arm of John the Baptist and its case, Muhammad's cloak, Joseph's turban and Abraham's pot, not to mention David's sword. Wait, how about ticket prices? The museum charges 40 Turkish Lira for the entrance fee and 25 Turkish Lira extra for you to visit the Harem. Or you can do as we did and pay 85 Turkish Lira or 23 US dollars for a museum pass that will allow you to visit 12 museums including the Top Kapi, Hagia Sophia, so on and so forth. Be smart, get the pass. It's called Muse and I'll put the link on the description of this video, okay? Cheers! Stay tuned, I'm gonna take you to a tour of some of the palace's main kiosks. Let's go! So that's Asia and that's Europe.
we stayed at the Top Kapi Museum until we closed. After that, we took the tram to Besiktas, and from there, we walked all the way to the famous Mashka Gondola, a cable car system that crosses over the valley where the Mashka Park is located, in the famous neighborhood of Shishli. Sunset at Top Kapi is simply stunning, beyond words. The Mashka Gondola is a two-station overhead transport system without any support tower in the middle of the line distance. It's very close to some of the city's main hotels, such as the Hilton Hyatt, Swiss Hotel and the Divan, and links Shishli to the Taksim Square area. Prices are of 2.5 Turkish Lira, and the duration is of 3.5 minutes. It was tiny, but the shape of the cable car reminded me of one of those 60 science fiction films, so I thought to myself, what if I were in a science fiction film right now? What if I had superpowers? Super super powers, super powers, super powers. Powers. What would it be like? What would it be like? What would it be like? Be like? Right in the gondola really felt like we were in an old sci-fi film. You doubt it, right? Wanna bet? Buckle up and enjoy your travel, Zilla. Well, you guys, it's all about making the most of it, right? Some special effects just for laughs. Hope you had fun. Next on Travelzilla, come with us to the world famous Taksim Square. Walk with us as we explore one of the world's most interesting avenues, Istiklal, at both night and daytime. Watch me having the best time just trying to have some ice cream. Come with us as we explore one of Istanbul's most important churches, St. Anthony of Padua. And don't forget to drop a like, make a comment, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for your time. See you soon. Goodbye. Thank you.